Good morning guys. I decided I'd do a what I eat in a day video for one of my lower fat days. I just finished making my breakfast. This is a big batch. I'll probably it'll probably make two or three servings total. I already had my coffee with collagen and one tablespoon of cream. So that's my fat for the meal. And this would be considered a fuel pull on THM. I did use chopped up chicken thighs but um, I trimmed all the fat really carefully and when you trim all the fat really carefully the chicken thigh meat is almost the same nutritional information as the um, chicken breast so that's it's very low fat and then I just cooked it up with some spices and some bell peppers and cauliflower rice here's my breakfast all served up I just added some pico de gallo on top which is my absolute favorite thing these days especially on the lower fat days, it just adds so much good flavor without hardly any calories. And I also want to show you, I just posted on YouFood. I love YouFood um, for tracking food. It's not for tracking calories. There's no calorie counter, but it's just for tracking your um, pictures of your food. And then you can add in a description. And it also says if it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I don't know if you can even see that. But it says if it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and there's ways to save things, there's way to, ways to add recipes. It's kind of Pinterest and Instagram, but for diet and for food. And you can also track exercise as well. So love you food, and I am indigo underscore Neely on there, so you can find me there. And I finished my coffee already, probably at about six, and it is a little past eight right now, and I'm having my breakfast. Plans changed. We had a flat tire on the freeway. Oh my. And we had to go to the tire place and they're fixing it right now. And so we had to walk over here to uh, Burgerville in the rain. We got all soaking wet. Did you get all soaking wet? You poor baby. But she got popcorn at the tire place. So can't complain about that. You okay? Those are Renee's. This is mine. I just got a chicken breast with tomato and lettuce. I was going to get a gluten-free bun, but I forgot to ask for a gluten-free bun. So the kids are getting a piece of the bun and I got a coffee. So we finally made it home after our crazy morning. That was totally unexpected. Just coming home, we, we ran to uh, the store just real fast to pick up a few things. And on the way home, we were about maybe seven minutes away from home and the tire blew out on the freeway. So I had to pull over real fast. And it turned out that we were right around the corner from the tire place and the the wheel was already done for. So I um, just drove it really slow with my flashers on over to the tire place and they were able to get the tires all fixed. But we had to we had to wait like two hours. So we walked over to Burgerville like I showed you and it was very cold and it was rainy all the way on the way back. It had stopped raining almost. So that was good. But anyways, I have a home now and I'm trying to warm up. I got Renee down for a nap. She was so exhausted. So the funny thing is now is that I'm not hungry hardly at all. I ate that tiny little bit of food at Burgerville that was just a chicken breast and two tomato slices and a piece of lettuce. That's it. And um, it was fine. I was it wasn't that great, but it was food and I had it and I knew that we were going to be waiting for a while. So I didn't want to go without eating, uh, but I just wasn't very hungry. And um, even now, I'm just not that hungry. And it's so totally bizarre because normally when something like this would have happened in the past, it'd be like, well, throw all of my plans out the window and we'll just go for the French fries and a burger or whatever. And um I didn't even want to do that. Like I did, it didn't even, I wasn't even hungry. So that was really interesting. So my body must be working real hard on uh, losing weight and sending all the right hormonal signals that, eh, I'm fine. I don't need anything. I can just eat what I got on my body. <laughs> Seems to be working pretty well. Um, anyways, so we got home and I am trying to warm up and um, Renee's down for a nap and the other girls, I put them down in front of a movie. Uh, just because I wanted to have some quiet time after the craziness. And uh, I try not to have more than two cups of coffee in a day. And usually I try to just have one. Uh, but I've already had two. And all I want right now is a cup of coffee. So I made myself a cup of coffee. Um, I figure if that's the worst that happens out of this, then 
that's fine. And I did make it half decaf because I try not to go overboard on the caffeine. So anyways, that's what I'm having right now. I just, I'm having the one tablespoon of cream and a little bit of collagen in there to get some protein. And that's all I'm having for now. And I'll probably, hopefully I'll get hungry in a little bit and be able to have dinner a little bit later. But that's where I'm at right now. It is about 3 p.m. now and I'm finding that my pattern for eating is around 8 o'clock for breakfast, around noon for lunch, and then I'm hungry again by 3 or 4. And so I, I'm usually ready for a meal by then and then I try to get in at least a snack by 5.30 or 6 because that's the last time I eat for the day. So this is kind of my third meal of the day when I've, and I've usually been doing about four meals a day. So, um, I felt like I was really low on carbs today and I needed to get some in. So I just have, I'm having the leftover from my breakfast, which was the cauliflower and peppers and chicken. And I added a chopped up baked potato there. And then I've got my pico de gallo on top again. I did not feel like cooking another meal. So leftovers it is. And I'm about to dig in. And I really, I just really need the carbs. And actually, I think I'm going to add an apple at the end of this for kind of a dessert. So I can get all my good carbs in. I couldn't quite finish all of that dish. But I'll just save that and have it as my snack in, you know, an hour or two. Um, as my last meal of the day. And I'm just about to have my tiny Fuji apple here. And that was very satisfying. Those carbs are exactly what I needed. So that is it for my day of eating. I'm just going to have that last little bit of my dinner, maybe at 5.30 or 6. And that will be it. Today certainly didn't go as planned, but we made it through and everything is fine. So I'm counting that as a win. I hope you guys are all doing great. I'll be back again soon. Bye, guys.